It appears Rudy Giuliani is in trouble. Trump's personal lawyer was caught on camera during the filming of Borat 2 in a very compromising position. Now, the film is apparently releasing on Friday, but we have the details of the scene that involves Rudy Giuliani and somebody that he's told is underage. So this from The Guardian, Rudy Giuliani faces questions after compromising scene in new Borat film. Let me give you the specifics. And I also have some images from the film. First up, they say here in the film released on Friday, the former New York mayor and current personal attorney to Donald Trump is seen reaching into his trousers and apparently touching his genitals while reclining on a bed in the presence of the actor playing Borat's daughter, who is posing as a TV journalist. Following an obsequious interview for a fake conservative news program, the pair retreat at her suggestion for a drink to the bedroom of a hotel suite, which is rigged with concealed cameras. After she removes his microphone, Giuliani, 76, can be seen lying back on the bed, fiddling with his untucked shirt and reaching into his trousers. They are then interrupted by Borat, who runs in and says, quote, She's 15. She's too old for you. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is... Wow. Uh, if I didn't feel like Giuliani's career was already going to be over based on how he's been acting in general over the past year or so, this is going to end it. Maureen Dowd here. She has seen it, saying it's even wilder than it sounds, beyond cringe. And then we got some images. Nathan Bernard here. Tweeting out what's been leaked around. Here he is with the uh, so-called journalist. Again, this is an actress. She's 24 years old, not underage. But here with Giuliani. Again, uh, this is, I guess, when they're taking off the, uh, the microphones. There he is laying down on his back uh, with his hand in his pants. Okay. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is uh, Rudy Giuliani's communications director. She tweeted about this back in July when they shot it. She tweeted out, on Tuesday night, Mayor Giuliani foiled Sasha Cohen's attempted scam interview, ultimately ending in a stupefied Cohen. Foiled? <laughs> not according to people that have seen the scene. Uh, no, Giuliani did not foil the interview. At the conclusion of an interview for a documentary on Donald Trump's leadership during the COVID-19 pandemic, Cohen barged onto the set screaming hysterically while wearing a multicolored bikini with a mesh sash. Unfooled and placid, not flaccid, placid, Mayor Giuliani notified security to call the police. It was then, upon hearing the word police, Cohen turned from a screaming banshee into a fleeing hyena. I hope he was last seen running down the street in his bathrobe. Yeah, I'm sure you're not at all worried about this, which is why you tweeted about it well before it aired. <laughs> okay, getting out ahead of the story. Obviously, she had no idea when it was going to be shown. It's going to be in the movie on Friday. This is just a, a crazy story. So uh, there you go. I am going to watch Borat. This is not an ad for Borat, but obviously... <laughs> I'm definitely going to watch this movie. And, uh, my God. <laughs>